Cougar Bombs to do some snooping. At some point, someone must have come to, to inform you that Chris Butler was a con man. What was your reaction? Well, I didn't really have a strong reaction because I didn't know him that well. I focused more on the women because they were what we were interested in. I just think sometimes greed takes over and common sense goes out the window. Just what was fake and what was real about Butler's PI bombs operation depends on who you talk to. Carl Marino says it was a little bit of both. We were working on real cases that had fake elements to it. We were working on fake cases that had real elements to it where some people knew they were fake but other people thought they were real. But according to PI mom, Ami Wilkes, who now runs her own PI agency in the Bay Area, if Butler was manipulating cases to beef up the reality TV show, she was not <coughs> in. And did you work on any cases that were specifically for the show? Yes, I did. And were those legitimate cases? To my knowledge, they were. I was never told otherwise. No one ever told me that they were fake. To my knowledge, even today, those were real cases that we were working. And if you believe or you're discovering now that these cases were all set up how do you feel about Chris putting you in that position? Well, I, I mean, it's over and done with. It is shocking to me that you're telling me this. Megan Bernabe thinks it's not unreasonable to believe that the PI moms really were in the dark about what Butler was up to. It is very possible that people uh, who worked at the office didn't know anything about what Chris was up to. What do you think he said? He let people in on things as he chose. And if he didn't choose to let you in on what he was doing, then he would have no way of knowing. You think you did anything wrong, Rick? Despite repeated requests from 48 Hours, Butler, who is now free on bail, has refused to talk about the charges against him, letting his statement speak for him. And on a number of occasions, he blamed Norm Welch. So does it follow the thought process of a narcissist or a sociopath fact that Chris Butler is now blaming everybody else. Oh, for 100 percent. It's never their fault. It's never something they did. They're always the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what happened? The only thing they're ever sorry for is getting caught. As for Norm Welsh, 